Hello everyone, this is Noemi Bank from Valley Heights near Sydney in New South Wales, Australia. And well, we are studying the course Seven Rays, and this course is based on a book, Seven Rays, by Ruben Cedeno. All the information we are going to talk today is based on that book. Well, we were talking about different rays. So last week we talked about the green ray. And today, as you saw the title, we are going to see beings. Beings who work under the green radiation uh, in the green sphere in this field. One thing I want to share with you before we yeah, we already started, but it's important to to keep in mind when someone doesn't know or ignores a star in the sky because they they never saw it they never talk about it, they never heard about it. Does it mean that that star doesn't exist? No, of course. That star can be there for a eons. And because the person doesn't know that that star is there in the sky, it doesn't mean anything. Okay, so with some beings that we are going to see today, is the same. If you haven't heard about them before, well, it's not the reason to say that these beings does, don't exist. Let's get started. Beings of the fifth green ray. Just to simplify, I want to, um, if you remember, this this thing, uh, the goal of this activity is fulfilled. Well, in on Earth there are three different evolutions. One is um, about el um, elementals, and the highest the highest level, the highest rank. Of an element of uh, an elemental is Elohim, and the elementals they work uh, in the mental level. Mental level means everything related to forms. Everything mental is related to forms, and. All the revolution in on sorry on earth is the angels and the angels they are first very at the beginning they are very tiny 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 like they're like let's say like a dot of light something like that and they don't have too much concentrate they are not focused and they just play you might see them in the light sometimes when this light spot spot of lights uh, moving around and they just stay there but as long um as long as no um on the way that they start growing and they evolve well the highest level the the highest rank is an archangel. So an archangel, an archangel is in charge of angels. And then we have another evolution which is more familiar when, and is us. Humanity. So there are three evolutions on earth. Let's say Elohim, a uh, mental level, Angels, sorry, elemental, at uh, mental level, 
angels at uh, feeling the everything related to angels is um, connected with feelings and humanity is in the middle because we think and we feel and that is our characteristic as humanity and the the highest rank or in, in, in yes in our evolution it's not the highest but in our evolution we we are looking to get in the state of a uh, Johan. Johan is a director of a uh, ray of one of the ray. In a nutshell, there are seven Elohim, there are seven archangels, and there are seven Johans. Which means that for each ray, there is one Elohim, one archangel, one Lord Johan. It's in a sim simple way, just to, to make it clear. At the same time, there are complements. So when we say about Lohim, we will mention two beings. When we talk about Archangels, we talk about two beings for each ray. The Archangel of the ray and their complement. So, for the fifth ray that we are talking today, the Elohim, Elohim is a, a word that can be singular or plural. The Elohim is, sorry, are Vista and Crystal. And the Archangel of the fifth green ray are Raphael and Mother Mary. And the Johan of the fifth green, green ray is Hilarion. And Elohim is a word that there um, is in some Bibles, and that word means creators. So the, the word in some Bibles is synonym of God. So in the beginning, God created the earth. So in the beginning, Elohim created the earth. Okay. Well, let's start with Vista. Vista is the Elohim of concentration. And when we talk about concentration, usually we say yes, focus. Focus on what you want. In the seven steps of precipitation, precipitation is when you want to manifest something, let's say clothes, a new job, a car, a pair of shoes, a house, a company, a travel, etc., 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 whatever you decided to manifest, one of the steps is concentration. Means you need to focus. And Vista is a master of concentration. For that reason, he's the Elohim of the fifth row. So, one way to practice concentration is just focus on what you want. That you want to buy a house. Okay, just focus. I want this house. How many bedrooms? How many bathrooms? How many windows? In, in which part? Where? Um, with kitchen, without kitchen, with garage, without garage. Everything you want. But then the don't stop, stop, start saying, Oh no, but maybe instead of a house and an apartment or not and then you think start thinking of an apartment and I say okay 
and then you start thinking of an apartment and then when you come back to the house and say no the house is better and then you are changing focus then you get nothing at the end of at the end of the day why because you lost concentration if you want a job just think what you want don't say oh any job I don't care because then when you have the job they say no but I don't like this job so you need to focus what you want I want a job in which I work X hours per week and I, I earn that amount of money that's it and then don't start thinking oh no but maybe I don't find a job no one of the things to work with concentration is do you know the expression silence if you are focused on something let's say a trip don't talk about the trip with anyone except of course the travel agent that's it don't talk your your I don't know your neighbor the person um, that you met at the bus stop your colleague no if you want to practice concentration just focus on what you want and the best way to be focused is to don't talk about it why simple because when you say let's say that you want to you want to buy a motorcycle and then you start thinking yes I want to buy a motorcycle and people say are you sure but is it secure if it's raining and you need a helmet do you have a helmet and these things like at the end of the day you lost concentration then you don't have what you wanted concentration has a lot of uh, so you can get what you what you want by being focused on that concentrate focus I want this and I'm going to get that you want to study a career IT for example okay that and you don't like the teacher don't worry be focused you want to finish that course or the the degree whatever you are studying and doesn't matter the obstacles that you find in the middle if you are focused then you will get the goal at the end Just ask Elohim Vista if you need help to be concentrated. And his compliment is, and uh, remember that the Elohim are at a, a um, mental level. So Vista is at mental level. Crystal, as you see, crystal is something transparent. Beloved crystal is the Elohim of transparency and crystallinity. Be transparent. If you want uh, transparency, is something like you can practice. Just being um, transparent means what you do, sorry, what you think, what you feel what you say and what you do are congruent, are aligned that is transparency you're transparent you are not doing something and then you are thinking another thing and then you are feeling another thing and that is a mess and that is not a transparent person and that cause causes a lot of trouble especially in terms of uh, lack of health
Oh, all right. All right, we talk about Lohim. And who is this? This is Archangel Gabriel. Uh, sorry, Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is present in every healing. There is a story. You may have heard about it. it was about um, in Israel, there was a pool, and people said that when the water of that pool moved, every person who was the first to get the pool was healed from any condition well imagine every time and who moved the water was Archangel Raphael so he with like let me show you the, the image again Archangel Gabriel with his wings was moving his wings and moving the water. And the person who get into the pool just was healed. Simple like that. No medication, no chemo, no any treatment, no physio, nothing. Just going there into the pool. Simple. What happened? Was the person in a wheelchair and that person, every time he try, oh, the water is moving, oh, I want to go. And then he was trying to run, but actually was in a wheelchair. Every time he was, he couldn't, he couldn't be the first one. He always, someone else always was faster than him. Okay. What happened? Well, Jesus met him. And say, hey, what happened? And and the guy said, yeah, you know, Jesus, I tried to go to the to the pool. So when the water is moving, so I can I can heal, but I can't. Someone else is always faster than me, and I can't get there. And Jesus said, well, healing is good in you. And he just said, go, get up. And go away, go, go home. And don't talk to anyone about it. And that is how he healed. So the healing process is within you. Okay, so this is the Cathedral of St. Mary, Star of the Sea, in Melbourne. And here you see on the left hand side Mother Mary, on the right hand side Archangel Raphael. Well, they are complement. They both work for the same ray, which is green, the green ray. And also there is a, um, a very, um, very famous miracle about uh, Archangel um, Archangel uh, Raphael, when he healed uh, Tobias, he, um, Tobias sight, so Tobias couldn't see, and Archangel Raphael he just touched him with a little bit of water, and then just that's it, healed, go home, ready. Hmm. So, Mother Mary, Queen of Angels, and Master Jesus' mother. She is the, she's an arch uh, archangel as well. And what about her? Well, it's interesting because Mother Mary, she works with the three evolution. She works with elementals in the way that um, every human being has a heart and 
she helps to create that heart. Only for for Catholics? No. For everyone, every single human being. If they are Muslims, if they um, are Jewish, if, uh, or Jewish, if they are Catholics, if they are Christians, if they uh, are atheists, if they know about Mother Mary, if they don't know about Mary, Mother, Mother Mary, it doesn't matter because she works on that with elementals. And by the way, the heart has the most delicate cells from uh, the whole body. Because the heart is the center, is where the inner self is connected with your heart. It's like a, like a cup. Well, and when she she's a trainer, and we she we she trains the elementals. They try to. It's interesting because when when she is like like a teacher, and when she comes to the to the room, all the elementals try elementals try to represent her her image. So there are many, many different images of Mother Mary. Well, she also worked with the angels of the green ray because it is an archangel. And the archangels, what they do is to command legions of angels. And she is, of course, well known as Master Jesus' mother. And the interesting thing about Mother Mary is that when in that incarnation she was she her um, divine plan of perfection was to be a mother but not any mother was mother uh, Master Jesus mother so she had to magni and one of the here teaching is magnifying magnifying what well you with your concentration when you with your attention you can magnify what you are thinking and you can magnify goodness or negativity if you are focused on yes I'm going to pass the exam I'm going to pass the exam I'm going to then you and you study and do you do etc etc well you will get the result on the other hand if you say oh no it's too difficult i'm not going to get that um i don't have the skills i'm this i'm that blah blah blah, blah. well you magnify that as well imagine with healing imagine with the pain some people are, have pain somewhere and then they start thinking, oh, this pain is something wrong. And they start talking about pain and talk with the neighbor. And the neighbor said, oh, yeah, because my uncle had the same condition. And they had to, the doctor had to cut off the head because they couldn't um, breathe anymore. And then you listen to the story and they said, oh, my God, please, please, please. Stop, stop that process and just think of the opposite, magnify healing. I'm well, I'm healthy, I'm going to get, I'm, I'm going to know I'm well because mind controls body. First thought, then manifestation, then action, movement, everything. So first thought. Well, Mother Mary teaches to be in focus and concentrated and magnify only goodness. Goodwill, wisdom, love, purity, health, prosperity, 
and forgiveness. Imagine magnifying prosperity. Instead of saying, oh no, I cannot afford it, or no, it's too expensive. Well, you are magnifying. Instead of saying, I don't have money, instead of saying that, think, okay, let me see. God will provide. Oh, the business is not working very well. The sales are going down. Inflation, etc., etc. Don't magnify. Just be aware of your words. And magnify what you really want. Mother Mary's musical keynote is within Franz Schubert's lead, Ave Maria. The other day someone asked me what is a musical keynote. Well, musical keynote is a, a, a keynote, a note within the lead in this particular uh, case, within the Franz Schubert's lead, that is connected with Mother Mary. And when you play that lead, or when you listen to that lead, then you are connecting with Mother Mary. We are connecting with her energy of healing, and for with every me. Her electronic pattern, Mother's Mar Mother Mary's electronic pattern is a white rose. Okay, now Master Hilarion heads the green ray on Earth, which involves truth, healing, concentrate, concentration, concentration, science, and harmony. Master Hilarion was uh, in one of his incarnations, who was Saint Paul. And you see here science, yes, healing. And in science, there is not there is no room for faith, but actually faith is what makes scientists to keep looking, to keep researching, to get what they are looking for. That faith, like what um, this lady um, that I'm going to remember who discovered the radium was um, Marie Curie. She, everyone said, close the doors, close the door, and she was saying no. I'm going to keep looking, I'm going to keep searching, I'm going to find... And she got the radium. She found it. Well, that is faith. Faith is not belief or something that doesn't exist. Faith is... is not belief. Faith is being sure that something good will happen. It's when you are sure that if you drink water, then you are not hurting anymore. Okay, so Master Hilarion, musical keynote, is within Bach's Toccata and Fugue in D minor. And if you listen to this um, keynote, then you will connect with Master Hilarion. And there is a kind of similarity with Hermes of Praxiteles uh, face and this statue is in the Archaeological Museum of Olympia in Greece. I took this photo when I went there to Hermes and he Hilarion, Master Hilarion, Hilarion um, etherical retreat is 
in uh, over Knossos Palace in Great Island, in Greece as well. So this is what once upon a time was like a palace you could see. Well, now this is what you can see at the moment. And this is um, his electronic pattern is a horn. So you can see here. Like this. This is a horn. The electronic pattern of Master Hilary. The Chohan of the fifth ray. The head of the fifth ray on earth. All right, Pallas Athena is known with the epithets God the goddess of truth. Her etheric retreat is over the Acropolis of Athens, Great Island, and Mount Avila in Caracas. So we can see here the Acropolis of Athens, where she had a temple. It was a temple in her name. And in terms of Athens, she, well, when we talk about Athens, we talk about truth. And if you see here, truth, let me see if we can see, mm, truth. Truth doesn't have to defend herself. She has a helmet, she has a lance, she has a shield, which means that if you have to defend yourself because someone else is talking about you and you try to defend yourself, well, remember that Athena, Athens, Athena, she doesn't have to fight. She doesn't have to say anything about what the truth is. And everyone at the end, at the end of the day or in the end, everyone will know. Truth can also be the, your religion. And religion, being aware of the meaning of religion, religion means unify. Religion means unify. Unify what? Unify the um, connection between you and God, between you and other human beings. Lavatsky says that truth has the truth as, a, as your religion. Yeah, something like that in, in my words I say that, but he said, she says that. The lie is always discovered and the truth prevails. Do you know the, the saying, lies have short legs? Why? Short legs means they, don't, they cannot walk very fast. And means that sooner or later, a lie will be discovered. Because the truth prevails. The truth has helmet, lance, shield, There are so many things in history that at the end everyone knew, oh yes. So, in your case, if you have to sign a contract and you are not sure if the other person is 100% cl um, clear or honest, okay, if you have that expression like this lady say, are you telling me the truth? And the guy say, yes, yes, sign the contract, is what we talk. And you say, mm, 
let me see, let me see, I want to read it in more detail. Well, you also, uh, apart from reading in more detail, you can also invoke the Pallas Athena's truth clock by saying, I am wrapping this with Pallas Athena's truth clock. That's it. So you are involved in that situation, like imagine like you are in, in wrapping that uh, contract, that situation with the Pallas Athena's truth clock, like a green clock. I have a very, very um, a story about that, uh, an example, let's say. When I'm talking about stories, about things, it's just to, to make you aware that how people use it. It's not blah, 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 like theory. And at the same time, it's not to inter entertain you. It's not I'm going to tell you to, to like, a, like Pinocchio, for example. No. That story I'm telling you is to uh, give you an example of someone else. And at the same time, is to encourage you to do the same, to use it. So a friend of mine uh, was a health professional, and he had a legal issue in his uh, with with one of his patients. But the thing is that he invoke it, he said this decree, he said, I am wrapping this with Pallas Athena's truth clock. And like you see me with my hand doing like this, exactly the same. Moving his hand and uh, wrapping this. Okay, so what happened was that at the end, the person who was saying a lie what discovered and he didn't have to pay anything so the thing is that in order to use this clock you must be a transparent person means you cannot lie because if you lie then you cannot use this clock Athena is not going to help you so, the one criteria to use it, to be able to use this clock, is just being honest. Don't lie. Alright, so Asclepius, another being of the green ray. Asclepius is known with the epithet God of Medicine and works along with his complement, Lady Hia. When I'm saying God, God of medicine, God, goddess of truth, please think of God as a title. Title in terms of those beings are worked perfectly with that virtue. And saying God or saying, for example, mm, truth or saying Athena, is exactly the same because Athena worked very hard, very high to well to to develop truth. For that reason, is what we say God or Goddess. So Asclepius is God, the God of medicine, and he, here you see something in Greek and something in Spanish. And in Spanish says, "I am the protector." and the guardian of the unhappy pe people or the unhappy well imagine no imagine sorry we realize that every sick person is unhappy and Asclepius is the guardian of unhappy people Interesting. So he, uh, Asclepius' electronic pattern is a caduceus. 
again, electronic pattern, if you're not familiar with that term, is the shape of a cell or an atom of his uh, being, in, the, in this particular case, Asclepius. So imagine that every single uh, atom of Asclepius, so millions, millions, millions of atoms, are caduceus. And caduceus like this one. I don't know if you can see it. Do -do -do -do. Can you see? There's the, the caduceus, so you can see here, it's bigger. Well, these caduceus, first of all, two snakes. And they cross each other like seven times. Two wings. Wings. Yeah. And what we want to say about Asclepius is that you can invoke Asclepius when you need health. You can have a caduceus. Remember, caduceus is the representation of Asclepius. If you don't have the image, uh, unless you have a uh, caduceus, and it's fine. Asclepius' uh, etherical retreat is on the theater of Epidaurus in Greece. That particular particular theater theater was uh, was. Um, it's still used. I went there. This is um, a place that you can go. And once upon a time, Maria Callas sang there. And she says that when she went there, she had a, a um, something with her voice. She, she was actually, she had um, a, a, an emotional conflict uh, in her personal life at that time. And she said that after singing in the in that theater, she healed. Very, very interesting. So one of the things about Asclepius is that he works during the night. Because when um so in that place people in Greece went there and see Asclepius during the night. So it was um, uh, a field where people went there to have bath, baths and uh, exercising and sleep and have a specific diet. Well, and they went to, to listen to music or to see theater to, to heal. Was a like a clinic, but in in at, at that time. And one of the things is that when they went to bed, is uh, at that time, Asclepius came and healed them. Very, very. That is what happened in Greece. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next one is Lord Ling. And is known with the epithet God of Happiness. And if you see here Longling, like uh, some people misinterpret um, or he they might don't know that they call like a Buddha. And it's not the Buddha. And I actually oh, Buddha is not only one person. Buddha is a title, which means enlightened. So it means that Lord Ling is a master in happiness. And he says, if you can be happy for seven days, you will be happy forever. And you see him, that is, he's not fat. Um, and in some culture, uh, having an image of uh, Lord Ling to attract happiness to that house. As he is, um, the story behind uh, Lord Ling is that he once upon a time was Moses. 
So what we are seeing here is Michelangelo's Moses, which is in the church of San Pietro in Vincoli in Rome, Italy, if you want to go and see. And Michelangelo, as a great artist of the Rena Renaissance that he was, he cut, he cut that, if you see the image of Moses, he's a very serious person, actually with horns, but those horns, um, it says that actually the, the word, um, he tried to, to represent uh, Moses, but uh, uh, the word light instead of ray, rays of light was interpreted as horns. So Moses has horns, but actually was intended to be rays of light. So the thing is that Moses did a very great job. What did he do? You know? Why Moses is so... Uh, or why Moses is Moses? Well, Moses took the um, people who was slave in Egypt and guide them through the desert to be free to go to the um, to go to Jerusalem during that time he had a lot of issues with the people and he was upset he was angry so he did his job and at the end he went to Jordan which is today uh, Jordan but he couldn't continue he just had to stop in Mount Nebo in Jordan and he couldn't continue why? because what he did was um, what um, his job was, wasn't done with happiness so he had to do it again and he Re he was the one of the uh, Siddhartha Gautama disciples Ananda the beloved disciple Ananda and that is when he really did everything with happiness and actually was um, the, the, the person who continued with the teachings after um, Lord Gautama well, ascended, of course, he finished his uh, incarnation at that time and then, okay, what we are going to do with the old Buddha's uh, or Gautama uh, teaching so they organized all his teaching in the Tripitaka three books and the head of that was Ananda Ananda was always, always, he had a very good uh, photographic memory and he was always uh, caring of what Gautama needed, if he needed a bed, if he was hungry and he wanted to eat or he was thirsty and he wanted to drink something or give him some massage, everything that Gautama needed, he was there to, to, to supply um, what he, he, the Gautama needs. So don't be as, as a Moses. We learn from Moses. So we learn that when we do something, we must do it with happiness. Otherwise, we need to do it again. So we can say, I am Lordling's joy and happiness. I don't accept any sadness in my world. Get out! So I don't want sadness, I am happiness. Like this! <laughs> Instead of being like this at work, doing everything again and again, and look at, look at the expression of this guy. Oh my god. Do you think he's enjoying his job? I don't think so. So we can say, I am blessing the good in this action. Who has to clean their home? Uh, 
<laughs> who has to cook? Who has to wash clothes or wash the car? Who has to do this, this, those things? Okay. And if you're not doing that with happiness, so what you can do is just saying this decree. I'm blessing. I'm blessing the good in this action. Mm. When I was a teenager, my mom used to say, Noemi, the person who um what how is what she says um she she always says the lazy one has to work double. Lazy in terms of, you know, like, oh, yes, I'm going to clean, and then you clean. And then she came and said, no, 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 look, there's there is dust there, clean it again. So means that if, you're, if you have to iron, if you have to clean, if you have to do something, just do it with happiness by saying, I am blessing the good in this action. And Connie Mendes says that when you do that, for example, you are ironing, and you say, I'm blessing this action, I'm blessing the good in this action. But actually what you are doing is every person that is doing the same job as you at that time, they are blessed as well. And that job is getting easier and lighter for them as well. It's interesting. And then you finish like this. So you go from this, daga, 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 to this. Oh, yes, let's do it. <laughs> oh, you just finish loving what you do or just, you know, sometimes you find someone to do that job for you. <laughs> okay, Amitayus. Amitayus is the Buddha of longevity, health and healing. Remember that Buddha is a title which means enlightened. Yes. So this is the representation. I, I'm, I'm, I confess here <laughs> that I, uh, when I was in Argentina, I had a um, center uh, working as a physiotherapist. Well, I, I used to have my office, and the center was called Amita Youth. And I. And what is the thing? Well, Amitayus is just, okay, and there, uh, when you, there is, uh, the center was on uh, the second floor, so you have to take, still people go there. Um, there is another physio working there, and other people. And when you go there, you see the image of Amitayus. And some people say, what is, what is the name? Amitayus. Ah. But I'm, uh, I just say, and his mantra is, I am infinite health of limitless healing. So I, I'm, and I, I want to say, you have to say that I am infinite health of limitless healing. I am infinite health of limitless healing. Means that even though that incurable incurable conditions or illness, well, there is also a cure for those. Even science says, no, well, Amitayus is the Buddha of longevity. He's like a master in health and healing. Remember that at the beginning, only health exists existed. But then, when people start um, breaking the law of cause and effect and creating bad karma, karma means action, well, that is when health became healing. And, well, that is the mantra. And... Dr. Jose Gregorio Hernandez is a being of healing of the green ray. He was born in Isnotu, Venezuela. 
He was a Venezuelan doctor. He studied in Paris. He studied in one of the most prestigious universities in Venezuela. And he worked there for all his life. And he... He's a saint. Um, if he's not saint, he's this the step below to be a saint and uh, the story is that if you have his image and you put a glass with water in front of the image and you left the water during the night and then you drink it after after so the next day you oh, the the water is charged with healing and then you heal yourself and there are a lot of miracles uh, around Jose Gregorio Hernandez. So he he works in a he worked in a clinic, and the story about Doctor Jose Doctor sorry, <laughs> I'm saying my Spanish accent <laughs> when he was um, so there are many many stories about him. So one of the most interesting ones is that he. Um, he goes to the hospital and people, he just, you know, do this, the surgery or the, the, the technique that doctors, the doctors do. And when he finished, the patient heals and they say, who was your doctor? I don't know. So a doctor was with a funny hat and was doctor. Jose Gregorio Hernandez who healed the people and so there are so many miracles in his name that well we will see he, if he is not the same he will be definitely so when we have a state of health awareness the green ray acts whether we invoke it or not. It's all a matter of awareness. Of Even though if a person doesn't know about the green ray, but they are aware of health, well, the green ray acts. Remember what we said the other day? It's just wearing clothes, uh, green clothes, something green, um, having an image. The images, even though they are not the beings, but they are connected with the energy of those beings. So, are you going to give it a go? It's not just saying, oh yes, they are master, they are god of truth, goddess of truth like Athena, or God of Medicine, like Asclepius, or God of Happiness, like Lordling. It's just, what are you going to do? Are you going to spread happiness around you, your family, your colleagues at work, in a bus stop, sitting, doing your decrees? Well, we will see. <laughs> that is... Um, that is all for today. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And see you next time. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>